In this video, I will show you some problems on absolute value, so stay with me. Uh, the first problem that I have here is uh, which one of the following is the solution set of uh, the given absolute value? So here, to solve the absolute values, we need to know some facts about absolute value. For example, if A is any real number, the absolute value of A is defined as uh, the number itself if a is positive otherwise absolute value of a is zero if a is exactly zero or it's minus a if a is negative number so this is the definition of absolute value so uh, let's see uh, the the given absolute value based on this uh, definition so we are asking the the solution set of the absolute value of 1 minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 1. So uh, rearranging this expression, we can write like this. 1 minus 2x, absolute value of 1 minus 2x, absolute value of 1 minus 2x is equal to 3x plus. Uh, you can take this 5 to the right, so it becomes 3x plus 6. Now, there are two cases. Uh, the first case is, say, case 1. Uh, we can evaluate uh, the, this absolute value in two separate cases. In case 1, if, if one, of my, 1 minus 2x is positive or greater than 0, then, then we can take out uh, the absolute value as it is. 1 minus 2x is greater than 0 means that uh, the given expression is positive so take it out from the absolute value as it is 1 minus 2x is equal to 3x plus 6 so collect like terms here uh, minus 2x minus 3x is equal to 6 minus 1 so this is minus 5x is equal to 5 dividing both sides by, by minus 5 dividing both sides by minus 5 the value of x becomes minus 1 but when we substitute minus 1 here in the first case when we substitute minus 1 here it has to be true 1 minus 2 times minus 1 is always positive therefore the solution set for the first case is minus 1 okay now let us proceed to the second case the second case can be the second case can be uh, say case two we can assume the uh, the absolute value of uh, 1 minus 2x assume this expression 1 minus 2x is negative so if it is negative which means if 1 minus 2x is negative or less than zero the absolute value by definition will tell us the negative of 1 minus 2x is exactly 3x plus 6. So distribute this negative. So it becomes minus 1 plus 2x is equal to 3x plus 6. Collect like terms. So collecting like terms, we get 2x minus 3x is equal to 6 plus 1. 2x minus 3x is minus x is equal to 7. You see the the value of x here is minus 7. So minus 7 is the solution set for the second uh, case if this is true. Substitute minus 7 here. Substitute minus 7 here. 1 minus 2 times minus 7 is not negative. Okay, uh, look. 1 minus 2 times minus 7 is less than zero is false it's not negative this is positive so so x is equal to minus seven cannot be the solution or it can't satisfy this uh, this absolute value if you substitute minus seven in this equation it will become false therefore the solution the only solution said for this absolute value is minus one only so this is the solution, so our answer will be A.
The second problem is the solution set of the equation uh, absolute value of 1 minus x, I mean absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x. What is the solution set for this uh, absolute value? So uh, let us see the absolute value itself uh, carefully. If we see the given absolute value, we have 1 minus x is equal to 1 absolute value of, sorry, this is uh, absolute value of absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x is given. We can see that this is written as x minus 1 absolute value of x minus 1 is the negative of we can rewrite this 1 minus x as x minus 1. So you see this absolute value this absolute value is uh, the negative of the inner expression minus of x minus 1. So this happens this happens only if x minus 1 is negative. Okay? We write absolute value of x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0. Therefore, this absolute value is the negative of x minus 1 if x minus 1 is less than 0. This implies x is less than x is less than 1 so uh, the solution set for this absolute value is x such that x is less than 1 so our answer will be uh, a so here we are asking the solution set of this absolute value equation so uh, as usual we will see this uh, this in two different cases so uh, we can say case one is if in case one we can assume that if the inner expression inside the absolute value that means uh, if 2x if 2x minus 5 is greater than 0 or x is greater than 5 over 2 meaning that if this expression if this expression is positive, we can take out the absolute value expression as it is, because absolute value of a number is always positive. So 2x minus 5 uh, will be the same as x plus 8. So collecting like terms, this becomes 2x minus x is equal to 8 plus 5. So this is x is equal to 13. Definitely x can be 13 because 13 is a number greater than 5 over 2. So uh, the solution set for the first case is uh, 13. Again, let's see the second case. In the second case, we can assume that we can assume that uh, this expression, the expression inside the absolute value is uh, negative. Already we have assumed the positive case. Assume this is 2x minus 5 is negative or x is less than 5 over 2. The, this expression becomes negative whenever x is less than 5 over 2. If the inner expression in the absolute value is negative, we can multiply this expression by negative so that it can be positive. So it gives us uh, the negative of 2x minus 5 is equal to x plus 8. This is exactly the same as minus 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 8. So collecting like terms, minus 2x minus x is equal to 8 minus 5. So this is minus 3x is equal to 3. Now we can divide both sides by negative 3. Uh, the result is x is equal to uh, 3 over minus 3 which is minus 1 so minus 1 is possible value of x x should be any number less than 5 over 2 exactly minus 1 is a number which is less than 5 over 2 so the solution set for the second case is minus 1 so the union of our solution set for the given problem will be the union of the two cases the solution of the two cases one is minus 1 the other is 1 3 so this is the solution set for the given problem. Therefore, our answer is B.
which of the following is the solution set of uh, this absolute value so here uh, we will calculate in this way the absolute value of 3x minus I mean uh, uh, the absolute value of 3 3 minus 2x is equals to the absolute value of x minus 6 here we have the absolute value in both sides so it's very easy to calculate such kind of absolute value uh, one thing you can assume 3 minus 2x is equals to x minus 6 itself or you can assume 3 minus 2x is the negative of x minus 6 so in this case uh, collecting like terms we will get 3 plus 6 is equals to x plus 2x or uh, 3 minus 2x is equals to minus x plus 6 here this becomes uh, 9 is equals to 3x or here we can collect like terms 3 minus 6 is equals to minus x plus 2x uh, and here dividing both sides by 3 uh, the x value becomes one of the x value becomes 3 here here minus 3 is equal to minus x plus 2x is x so either x is minus 3 or x is plus 3 therefore the solution set or the value of x that satisfies the given absolute value is minus 3 and positive 3 so this is the solution set for uh, for this uh, absolute value next we have another absolute value which is the solution set of the equation here the solution set of the equation x cubed plus x absolute value of x is equal to zero here uh, we need to be very technical to find the solution set for for this absolute value uh, in any of the case uh, it, it will be very easy for you if you use simple substitution for example zero can be the possible value zero cubed plus absolute value of zero is zero therefore x is equal to 0 is one of uh, the solution for for this equation let's check for one actually there is a technique to find the solution you can consider this absolute value as plus and minus x so you can use that way but to to save our time let us substitute x is equal to 1 here 1 cube plus absolute value of 1 cannot be 0 this is uh, this is 2 this value is 2 so one cannot be cannot be a solution again let's substitute minus one minus one cube plus absolute value of minus one is uh, the same as minus one cube is minus one cube is minus one plus absolute value of minus one is one which is zero therefore x is equal to minus one is another solution therefore from the given alternative the solution set are minus 1 and 0 okay so our answer will be uh, D which of the following is the solution set of uh, the given absolute value so here as usual uh, whenever we have an absolute value on both sides it's very simple it's like this the absolute value of 1 minus 3x is equal to 2 times uh, x minus 2 uh, here we can write 1 minus 3x is 2 times x minus 2 or the other possible value for this uh, absolute value is 1 minus 3x is minus of 2 times x minus 2 okay you can take uh, the opposite sign of the absolute the expression x minus 2 so uh, let us distribute the numbers first 1 minus 3x is equal to 2x minus 4 or 1 minus 2x is equal to minus 2x plus 4 okay sorry this is 3x uh, so uh, collecting like terms we get 1 1 plus 4 is equal to 2x plus 
3x or 1 minus 4 is equals to minus 2x plus 3x so this becomes 5 is equals to 5x 5 is equals to 5x or minus 3 is equals to uh, positive x so this becomes dividing both sides by 5 by 5 our x value becomes 5 over 5 which is 1 or here x is minus 3 so 1 and minus 3 1 and minus 3 are the solution set for this absolute value so minus 3 comma 1 is the solution set for this absolute value so our answer will be uh, b thank you for listening if you really like the video don't forget to like subscribe and share